Hi everyone, this is Priya Dashini, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today, I am going to discuss about Management Accounting. What is Management Accounting? Management Accounting, the term Accounting refers to Accounting of Management. The Management Accounting provided the necessary information to assist the management in the creations of policies and day-to-day -day operations. Definitions Management accounting is concerned with accounting information that is useful to management according to Oren Anthony. Next one is the objectives of management accounting. To assist the management in promoting the efficiency. Efficiency includes best possible services to the customers, investors and employees. To prepare the budget covering all the functions of business likewise production budget, sales budget, flexible budget, cash budget etc. To analyze the monetary and non-monetary transaction. To compare the actual performance with the plan for the purpose of identifying the deviations of the performance. To interpret the financial statement to enable the management to formulate in future plan. To arrange the systematic allocations and responsibilities. These are the main objectives of management accounting. The next one is the characteristics of management accounting. Yes, providing the financial information. The main emphasis of management accounting provided the financial information to the management. These kind of information goes to provide it for the suitable to various level of management for reviewing the policies and decisions making. Next one is the causes and effort analysis. The financial accounting confine itself to pre prepare a profit and loss account balance sheet. That, but the management accounting analyzes the causes and the effective of the fact and the figure there are. For example, if there is any loss, the causes of loss are investigated. If there is any profit, the profit also analyzed. The amount of profit is compared to expenditures, sales, capital employed. Next one is the uses of special techniques and concept. Management accounting having a, some special techniques. Likewise, standard costing, budgetary control, marginal costing, fund flow statement, cash flow statement, ratio analysis. The next one is decision making. The main objectives of management accounting is to provide the information to the management to take uh, various important decisions. No fixer convention. Financial accounting having a various established principles and rules in preparing in a financial accounting. But the management accounting has no such a fixed rules. Next one is a forecasting. Management accounting is concerned with taking decisions for future implications. Next one is a functions of management accounting. The first function is a forecasting, making a short term and a long term and a plan for the future operations of the business. Next one is a organizing, organizing the human and the physical resources of business, assessing the specific responsibilities to different people do this. Next one is a coordinating, providing the different tools of coordinating. Example, such a tools are budgeting. Financial report, financial analysis, interpretations. Next one is a controlling. Controlling is based on the performance by using the standard costing, variance analysis and the budget control. Analysis and interpretations. Analysis and interpreting the financial data in a simple and purposeful manner. Next one is a communicating. Communicating the result of business activities. Next one is a economical appraisal. Appraisal of social and economic force and government policies and interpreting the effect of business. Next one is the advantages of management accounting. Yes, helps in decision making, 
helps in planning helps in organizing facilitate to communicate helps in coordinating evaluating and control the performance interpreter of financial statement economic appraiser so these are the advantages of the management accounting so next one is a limitations of management accounting it is based on accounting information second one is a wide scope third one is a it's a costly it's not suitable for the all type of the organizations so management accounting is a evaluative stage the next one is a oppositions of change initiative decisions not an alternative to manage it so these are the limitations of management accounting the next one is a difference between management accounting and financial accounting the first one objectives the main objectives of financial accounting to supply the informations in the form of profit and loss account and the balance sheet to the outside parties likewise shareholders investors creditors government etc but the objectives of management accounting the provided the informations for the internal usage of management so this these are the first difference between the management accounting and financial accounting the next one is a performance analysis the financial accounting is concerned with the overall performance in the business on the other hand the management accounting is concerned with department or divisions next one is a usage of data the financial accounting is mainly concerned with the recording the past event but the management accounting is concerned with the future plan and policies the next one nature financial accounting is based on the measurement while the management accounting is based on the judgment so these are the difference between the management accounting and financial accounting the next one is a difference between cost accounting and management accounting objective for cost accounting is to ascertain the cost of control of product and services but management accounting is the helps of management to making a decisions and plan and control etc scope cost accounting deals with primary with the cost data management accounting deals with both cost and revenue data used cost accounting only those transactions which can be expressed in figures are taken only but the management accounting used both qualitative and quantitative nature the cost of cost accounting uses both past and present figures the management accounting is concerned with the projections of figures in a future so these are the difference between cost accounting and management accounting thank you